Mm. Alright, we're gonna talk about Lizzo. Alright, originally she got flack for this video. It's called Rumors featuring Cardi B. I'm gonna play a little bit of it. Watch the shit I post. Oh god damn. Say I'm turning big girls in the hoes. Oh god damn. They say I get groupies at my shows. Oh god damn. All the rumors are true, yeah. What you heard, that's true, yeah. I fuck him and you, yeah. If you believe I do that, had to cut some hope. So originally, for the rumors video, they said she makes music for white people. Okay. If you look at shit like that, like, in the black community, when you cross over and you go fully cross over, like, they're not playing this around here. In the urban community, they don't play Lizzo. I've never been to anywhere, oh, Lizzo's playing. Like, but and it's crazy because it's like, Jason Derulo goes through the same thing. Jason Derulo has made millions. He's a popular act. He's famous. He did everything he had to do. When you say Jason Derulo, it's like the nigga that made. <laughs> yeah, you kind of look like him. I get that a lot. But um, so there's racial tension behind it. She got a lot of racist comments against her. She makes music for white people and she's fat. She has to deal with now. I think she doesn't have to look at social media like that. I think it's partially on her. Then she dropped a video of her crying. Positive energy you put into the world, you're still gonna have people who have something. something mean to say about you. Johnny. Why do people go on live and cry? I don't understand that. Like, that is so weird to like Tyreen. Johnny don't get canceled. Go ahead, Johnny. You don't have to make fun of people's weight, but she's the main one to be flaunting her weight. That's true. You feel me? I'm proud of my body. I'm proud of my skin. I'm I'm confident in my skin. I think she went half naked to the Lakers game. Remember that? Like she was half naked. Yeah. Like Girl, wow. She's clearly overweight. That's not an opinion. That's clearly fact, right? I think we can all agree on that. We as a society shouldn't praise obesity. She can be confident in her way, but don't get mad if people are telling you the obvious fact that it's unhealthy to be that big. They're not saying it's unhealthy. They're calling you fat. I, I, I'm not I mean, well, unhealthy. of course, they're being mean about it. But in reality, you're a big woman. Like, you're overweight. Like, and you need to address that issue regardless. I mean, if you want to stay that way, that's cool. What if she can't lose the weight? But, well, that's different. If she has a pre-medical condition, then that's different. But I'm pretty sure she doesn't. It's just like as far as the music goes, whatever's making her money and getting her the bag, so the fuck be it. Get your bag. Because the same music that you're making is getting you the bag and people are on her asses sitting home twitting their fingers not making shit. So as far as your music goes, let your music speak for itself. If your music is making money, you're doing something right. Mm -hmm. You don't stereotypically see women flaunting their weight as much as she does in some situations. Mm -hmm. Y'all brought up the Lakers game. Mm -hmm. She was half naked at a Lakers game. Let's be realistic. The fact that you're a big girl, nobody has an issue with that so far. The fact that you are flaunting it as heavy as you are, half naked, front row at an LA Lakers game, you're gonna get talked about. I don't give a fuck if you're Lizzo, I don't give a fuck if you're a fucking Respucia. Yeah. You're gonna get talked about if you're half naked in front of a Lakers game, whoever you are in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. So that's just, that's a given that comes with it. So it's like, it's either you get your win in order because you wanna get it in order, or at the end of the day, you gotta be comfortable in the skin that you win. Because at the end of the day, people gonna talk regardless. And the fact that she's crying means she's really not comfortable. Yeah, it almost seems as though she she might not be as comfortable in that situation because people are talking about her. But you gotta remember, you're generating attention in some ways. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a thick enough skin to be okay with who you are in your True. skin. True. Simple as that. Uh, I know Facebook for sure is deleting comments under the post, like because she posts, she, uh, either she posted on Facebook, mm -hmm. deleting all the comments. It's like. All the celebrities have went through this. Not all of them are crying. This video, I checked on YouTube, it has 15 million views right now. But society is sensitive now. Yeah, that's, and it's so like, they're not trying to promote negative energy. Like for example, that's why there's this whole f new term, fat phobic, homophobic, all these terms, because they're trying to pr promote positivity. In general, if you're a celebrity, you're gonna get the negative comments, no matter who you are. Okay, the, uh, one thing I'll give you, Cora Ray. Like how they make fun of yeah. how skinny she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, she flaunts that a lot too. But she but deals with it. Yeah, she's she not on the IG crying. Video is climbing up the charts. It's doing what it's supposed to do. You're winning. You're making money. You, you can't, if that's a problem with the, what they're saying, don't read the comments. Simple as that. Don't read the comments. You can't say that. No, can't. no, you can't. Because I understand. Like, you all realize if this podcast blows up, they're going to call you black. They're going to call you bald. They're going to call me fat. I have a gut. That's just part of the game. Are you ready for that? 
mm-hmm. is what it is. I'm Are you ready for that? This way. That's why I, I'm naturally a troll, so I'm trolling back. You're gonna so you're gonna be in the comments responding. No, no. I probably won't be. The you have I'm, I'm the way you have to deal with it. But don't read the comments. No, it's not. I'll read the comments. It's fun to to me. Shit like that is funny to me because especially if you're Caribbean, you have tough skin, like. Yeah. Nigga, I grew up with my brothers and brothers and friends making fun of me. Like anything anybody says doesn't affect me really. What she's yes. going through is that the price of fame, yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is. So you can't afford the price of fame. She can afford it. And then she, she can't she afford still, she has the right to feel something. She is a human first. She has every natural born right to feel some type of way. I think a lot of people Celebrity or not. Yeah, 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 she does. Did, okay, does she have a right to express? She, 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 if you're a celebrity and you feel some type of way, should you express it every time? She has every right to if she God given wants to. Hold That's on, the point of the I country think, we live in. I think she shouldn't be corny and express it on IG Live. I think to me that's corny. I think that's, for me, that's, you want more attention. Like, if that really bothers you, handle that with your friends, your inner circle, but don't go on IG Live like, oh, I'm, I'm crying. Just address it in a, in a post or something. I'm